Hello and welcome to this guide from boatfittings.eco.uk on how to splice a loop into the end of a piece of rope like this. This is a piece of three strand polyester. I did this end earlier and I'm going to show you how to splice a similar loop in, into this end. So what we're going to need for this is a marlin spike. This is the kind with a hollow top which makes it easier to kind of push the rope through, through between the other strands. Got a knife which we don't mind getting a bit burnt during the process. We've got a pair of scissors and a gas. So uh, this may look a bit tricky, but it really isn't. Once you've done it once, you'll find it's uh, it's a doddle, um, and it, it, the only tricky bit is getting started. But um, first things first, what we do is we we want to unravel the the ends of the rope uh, where it's been uh, melted together. And what we need to do is set aside a working length of, of rope. I mean, and it's best to just kind of choose a length a bit more than you think you're going to need. And what we're going to do is get a piece of our, our tape to basically put around it and stop it, stop the whole rope becoming completely unraveled once we uh, unattach the end. So that's there, that's going to be our working length of rope. And we're going to basically pull these, pull, we might need to use the knife a little bit just to help these come apart. There we go. We've now got three Kind of loose strands of rope to work with and you notice that they get a bit loose and floppy what we want to do is as we when we're working with the rope and doing the splicing just twist them back so they're kind of nice and contained to keep a, a nice neat splice when we're about to thread these uh, three thread these ends through the rest of the rope so the next step is to decide how big of a loop we're going to put into the rope uh, so it, it might be the, the size of the loop isn't important, but it, on the other hand, it might need to go through a certain size of uh, cleat or around a certain size of cleat. So, so for instance, you know, we might need it to go around a, a certain object. Just get the the size right and take a little bit of care before we uh, start putting work into the splice. So we, we now know where we're going to start attaching the, the bits of rope with the splice. What we're going to do is untwist the strands of the rope a little bit and put the marlin spike through like so and that's going to define where the uh, attachment's going to go together okay so we're going to just take lay the lay the rope around in a loop in a kind of natural way without any kind of major twist in it and we're going to take any of the first strands and just like I said before just twist them back so they're a nice compact shape and put the first end through put it through and as we get it through we can then take the spike out and we've got our first loop the rope nice and easy the slightly tricky bit when you first do it is deciding in what order to do the next bits in this case you know, I'm just going to take the next one along I'm going to identify the, the kind of strand next one around from the one we just did and again put the spike in Take the next strand, twist it to get it compacted again, and put it through. And the habit to get into is each time you take the spike out, just kind of give, give the ones you've just done a bit of a tug, keeping everything nice and tight as you go. And then we've got the third 
uh, strand which we haven't done anything with yet and it's just the, the identifying which loop it naturally wants to go into um, on the main on the main rope and take your time working this one out just working out where it's going to fit in and in this case it's always going to go under one of the one of the strands in the main standing part of the rope and I'm going to say it wants to go in this one here and really once you've decided this bit the rest is is easy just take your time on these first couple of decision points okay so we're going to just give these all a tug and now we're off to go to a good start okay so we've, we've we've now taken each each strand has gone through uh, through once and now it's a case of we can pick any one of them I'm going to pick this one and it's going to go over over one of the strands of the the main part of the rope and and under the very next one so we're going to it's going to go over this one we're going to untwist the next one a little bit put the marlin spike through and again just talking it up a little bit keep a nice shape it's all about neatness really you're just trying to make the thing look good you want to be happy with it at the end pull your marlin spike out and give it a give them all a bit of a tug just keeping everything nice and tight as you go so having done that what you're always trying to do is find the one kind of furthest away from where you've been working to to do the next one and again it's going to go over over a, a loop and under the next one morning spike goes in so the next one is, is nice and taut ready to go through take the spike out and give them all a bit of a tug just to keep the whole splice neat and tight and then we're just looking for the, the last one and he's going to go over one of the existing uh, twists and under the next one like so okay, just wrap, wind him up a little bit to get it taut and really this this step of just keeping everything in a nice shape before you thread it through you've got to do this at, at the right point because you can't neaten it up after you've done the threading through very easily at all okay and really once you've got started uh, it's it's quite easy you're just taking the one that's kind of furthest uh, towards the loop to work with next is going over one strand under the next you just work your way along just keeping an eye on everything being nice and nice and taut and neat as you go so to f finish the ends off nice and neatly it's it's kind of handy to just put a little bit of tape around the the end that you're trying to finish off and with a, a flame just kind of make sure the ends nice and melted together avoiding touching the main part of the rope And when you kind of want them all sticking like half a centimetre to a centimetre out. Um, and there we have the finished, finished splice.
you know, it's reasonably neat and with practice you might be able to you know get yours and a bit neater than that no hair there we are ready to go we'll just take this take this bit of tape off and there we go